In uh, 1966, the FBI recruited me out of college. Uh, Chicago was my first assignment, but I was transferred down south in 68. I stayed there until 86, uh, when I was promoted to uh, assistant director of the criminal enterprise branch. I stayed with the Bureau until my retirement in 1999. There are so many stories about Cassandra. Um, as a girl, she was kidnapped, killed, and brought back to life by a voodoo priest. She watched swamp rats rape and murder her sister. She shot her own father and dumped his body in the swamps. It's impossible to know what's true. Just the most beautiful little boy. Those pinky toes, them pretty blue eyes. He just started school up at that college. Get back.
Knows a bartender works in a club. Someone do French something. Word. Don't matter. Word from on high is we stick to the hollow with this shit. I think it. Fuck that. Nah. We'll stick to the hollow. Ugh. All units, search is called off. Repeat, abandoned Watch search. Out. Return to patrol. Finger got going on at the church. There's all kinds of dope over at the church. If you destroy it, the boss is gonna lose a lot of money. You run with me now. I'm serious, man. You heard about the curse that witch put on Bobby? That boy was weak-minded. And you are, too, if you believe in that voodoo nonsense. Well, they say he couldn't get it up after that. Had that car accident, couldn't sleep, hair started falling out. It was all in his head. Oh, yeah? So why'd he shoot himself? Listen to me. That poor some bitch got drafted. You know Bobby wasn't about to go to no And don't let them goddamn heat. Get in your head! Trouble's on the way! 
just doing my job. Spotted him. Come on. Cover my ass. Never like him anyhow. What do we have here? Gotta show up sometime. You're gonna tell me about the dope operation. The boss has got enforcers dealing around the hall.
My crew will be in touch. Let's get bloody, mother... Stick around. I'll let the police deal with you. Where the hell you think you're going with that? No! 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 Dear God, don't let me die here like this. Dear God, don't let me die here like this. All units in the city be advised. Suspect engaging with all the same units. Responding unit, visual contact with suspect lost. Suck me off for a hit. I'll charge her double next time. That blue? Ah, oh, fuck it. 50. 65. One of those more on me a bracelet. Oh, he said it was as good as money. I told them to pawn it off and then bring me the money. Vehicle, Christian. What? Get fuck while I'm still here. Yet. All units, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrol. Repeat, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrol. I've been listening in on old Charlie, and he isn't such a bad fellow. He's more of a kinder, gentler redneck. And as luck would have it, his wife is expecting. Man in that situation usually doesn't care who he works for, long as he's still above ground. 
poor sap starts blubbering when the two of them talk about names. Right now, it's between Bocephus and Thomas Lee. Anyway, his guys have the church locked down, and all of them are more of the shoot first, let God sort them out variety of redneck. You get your hands on Charlie, though. He'll do what he's told without putting up much of a fuss. All your intel's been updated. You going back to the motel? After I get something to eat, I'll see you when you're done dealing with these inbred assholes. Running low. Can you send supplies to Del Rey Hollow? Going at you. Hang tight. You want something? You let me know. Let me see what you got. I'll be... Take 
flashback. Buy me some time. Hit him from the other side. our intruder. Got him. Fire. Boy, let's see what you got. Help me out here. Work for me, and you might live long enough to raise your family. Okay, sure thing. Whatever you want. That's good, Charlie. Real good. Send your men to the First Baptist Church. Those Dixie heathens have been handled. I'll have some of my men come right over. And thanks. your name for the record? Donovan. John. Mr. Donovan, you understand that by appearing before this committee, you have explicitly waived your constitutional rights in regards to counsel and self-incrimination. Sure. And you further acknowledge that by appearing before this committee, you agree to disclose all information pertaining to the events that occurred in New Bordeaux during the summer and fall of 1968. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't. You were an operative in the Central Intelligence Agency from 1953 to 1969, is that correct? That's right. When did you arrive in Vietnam? August of 1961. Please describe for this committee the actions you took during your time in Vietnam. I spent a couple months in Saigon, and then I was transferred to a base in Laos that was operated by the Special Activities Division. We trained and equipped the Hmong and then turned them loose on the NVA. We're running arms and supplies via the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And you worked with Lincoln Clay in what eventually became the Phoenix Program. Within a year or so, Lincoln was heading up his own PRU. We'd cross over into Vietnam and locate enemy targets and either kill them or bring them back for interrogation. <laughs> Just thinking about it? Jesus Christ. You wouldn't believe the shit we did to those cocksuckers. God, I'm forgetting what those motherfuckers did to this place, Mr. Clay. I won't teaser.
This man's name is Jesse. We were just having ourselves a little conversation about witchy do say. Listen, I ain't done nothing, you hear? I don't know anything. I, I was just taking a walk and walking down the street and, and she scrammed me, is all. You with Dixie Mafia? No, yes, I mean, shit. I did it for the money, you hear? I, I ain't got nothing personal against y'all. I don't even carry a gun. Where's Doucette? He's... He's out at the abandoned amusement park to the west of here. Ban Saturdays? What the hell is he doing out there? From what I heard, it's because you've been tearing things up. And Georgie, Georgie's on a goddamn warpath. He wants Richie dead. So Richie, he grabbed what was left of the heroin and took off. Said he was gonna lay low until he could settle things with Georgie. How many men he got with him? Hell, I don't know. All of them. Hand me that knife. No, no, please. No, I ain't done nothing to y'all. Please, I, I'm begging you. My mama, my papa, oh, shit. Go on, get. He could warn do set. He ain't no threat to nobody. Let him run back home to his mama. If you wrong, there'll be hell to pay. Return to patrols. Repeat, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. I got a bad sense about this man. Richie needs to work his shit out with Georgie. Huh? Hey, motherfucker! Georgie sent you! Ass out of this shit. There is no Welcome to Baron Saturday's Football. We yeah. sure happy to have you with us today. So put your troubles aside. Enjoy yourself. You never know what that dirty old baron's got waiting for you round the corner. Stop! 
Get to. Oh, that's a new one. 
Oh. Hey, motherfucker. Georgie seen you. He's trying to burn us. I'm empty. Don't get burned.
think you can run this through, boy? You think you can come in here and steal my heroin without nobody noticing? I'm not here to steal your heroin, Richie. I'm here to make you pay for what you did to Sammy and Ellis Robinson. I didn't have nothing to do with it! I watched you stab Ellis in the gut. I couldn't do nothing about it then, but I sure as hell can now. Oh, God damn it! None of that was my idea, you hear? It was all Georgie, him and his old man. They wanted y'all gone, not me. Uh, what was I supposed to do, say no? Either that or make sure that I was dead. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, please, please. Listen, listen, just decent thing would be to let a man get in a prayer before you kill him. You can pray on the way up. When I saw Richie Doucette hanging from that Ferris wheel, I felt a profound sense of disbelief. Nothing like this had ever happened before. The mobsters killed each other all the time, but it was generally a small, contained event. Some greaseball is eating spaghetti and meatballs at his favorite restaurant and gets popped in the head. But this was different. Even then, even before I knew who killed him, I knew that Richie had been put on display. Lincoln was trained in psychological warfare by the CIA. He wanted to terrify the mob, wanted them to know he was going to kill every last one of them and that none of them would be able to stop him.